Hello everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Brenda and David. Well, tonight we're going to make some stuffed Oreos. They're very easy and, and too good. <laughs> They're too good. I'm not going to make very many, but anyhow, let me give you an update on my dad first. He's doing okay, but they didn't get to do the procedure last week because of uh, his calcium went way up. I think what happened was, I know cancer makes you sick, but when he found out he really had it, he got so scared he just wouldn't eat or do nothing. So his calcium went out the roof and his magnesium went down real low so she couldn't do the procedure, which was going to scrape that off of the bladder wall and see if it's anywhere else. So anyhow, he went back Tuesday and he don't get to go back to the urologist until the 1st of December. I hate that it's going to be a month, but we can't do anything about it. And I want to thank everybody for all the prayer. It means so much to me, and I know it does him. And so thanks, everybody, and God bless you. So let's get going on our video. I'm going to make some stuffed Oreos, and I'm just going to do it the easiest way possible tonight. You can make your own pancake mix or, or funnel cake mix or whatever you want to use. And tonight, I'm going to use pancake mix, and I'm going to turn my oil on. I'm not, you know, if you're not going to do but 15 or 20, you don't need a whole bunch of oil. And that's more than enough. But I don't want to get a bigger pot and a lot more oil. So what, what kind of oil is that? Pins oil? That's vegetable. <laughs> yeah, pins oil. <laughs> it's just vegetable oil. Okay. You can use whatever kind you want. It doesn't make no difference. It's still going to fry them cookies. <laughs> now listen, you don't. I don't have a thermometer to use. I got to get one. I told David while ago we got to get a cooking thermometer and a couple other things. So I got you a mouth thermometer. Well, you can't use this one in my food. Why? Anyway, I'm just gonna turn this on like seven or six and let that start heating up. Now look, I cleaned that wall ago. I wiped that eye off. I don't know. I even wiped all of it off. Took that watch. Hey, this stove does something really neat. I can turn this on high, and when it starts boiling. It automatically goes down by itself, and it doesn't boil over. It's kind of neat. I like it. So you just found that out the other night. <laughs> <laughs> Baby said, what's cooking on stuff? And I'm like, no, it's done it a few other times. I'm like, what's wrong with that thing? I got it on, but I very seldom keep anything on high. I might just get the water boiling or something and turn it down. So let's get going. I'm not going to do much of this either. I'm going to do one cup of pancake mix. Use any brand you want to. Some uses ain't your mama or whatever. It doesn't matter. Use whatever kind you want to. Now, look at here. You don't really, David. What? I Ants. felt the hair. Ants? No, I felt the hair on my arm somewhere. It's just your mind. No, it ain't. I don't want it in anything that I'm cooking. So I just got the complete butter, milk, pancake, and waffle mix. And you can mix it up with whichever one you want to. But I'm going to use just this i i am going to use milk instead of uh water to richen it up a little bit and i mm. am going to add some vanilla flavor to richen it up i like that i'm not going to put no egg you don't have to put no egg you can if you want to it's already in there and you know you got to use the liquid now i got a teaspoon and a half of cooking oil vegetable oil is what i got i don't have olive oil and it's about three quarters of a cup of milk. Now, if that's too much, I might not add it all at one time. I think I will. It ain't too much. <laughs> that didn't take me long to change my mind, did it? And it ain't going to probably be, a, it's not going to be enough flour because I put too much liquid. I do it every time. You got too much stuff piled up. I can't hardly stand right there. Why? I don't know. I'm used to getting all the way up getting the wall, but I can't. Now it's going to be lumpy because I've got to add some more, mi more mix. David. I don't see nothing on you. Well, that's a different arm. You didn't check it. <laughs> <clears throat> Only put a half a cup of liquid, okay? Maybe you're getting like your son-in-law. They're getting ticks. Oh. My son-in-law is a friggin' nut. <laughs> okay. So you're going to put some... He is not okay. normal. <laughs> so you're going to put some more in there? I did. Who knows how much. I'm just trying to thicken it up. So that's not really enough to make a lot of pancakes with. I'm only going to do as many cookies. You done ate them all. 
No, I don't want to do more than this because they're fried. They're not good for you. Nothing I make is good for you unless it's a salad. <laughs> but it tastes good. And I'm letting my oil heat up. You're just going to have to know how hot you want it. You can sprinkle a little bit of water, but stand back and be careful. If you don't have a thermometer, I just know when I if when it's ready somehow I just know. I'm only putting like a tablespoon at a time in there. Uh oh, there goes vocal. Sound like a siren ring, don't he? Yeah, he's a meow. He's got a high pitch meow. And his sister has a very low pitch meow. And baby, she's just normal. <laughs> just in between. So you're just kind of making that kind of... A little thicker. A little gooey, thicky thing like... Yeah. <clears throat> and I'm going to let it set right there for a minute while that oil's heating. I guess that's thick enough. You want it to stick to your cookie pretty good. Let's do just a tad bit more. Probably another tablespoon. I've got to fasten that bag. But I like to put it in a, another bag or something. Oh, that'll be a lot better right there. Yeah. So I probably added three more tablespoons anyway. It was two. Just start with a half a cup of milk or, or a quarter of a cup, two thirds cup, something like that. When I was in school, I wanted to bring somebody's attention to this. It might not be right, I don't know. But this is the way I was taught when I was in home economics. And mommy very seldom measured anything unless it was a cake, a pie, or something you need to on dessert. But this cup right here was for powder. And this cup right here was for liquid. And I don't, I've never tried to see if they measured different or not, but um, that's the way I've always done it. That's why I always have two different types out. Go to bed, buddy. Spaz. Hey. Spaz. Spaz. Hey, you want to talk to mommy? Huh? Can you talk to mommy? What do you want? Is that right? So, you want back outside, huh? He wants to go bear hunting. What if mommy said no? Well, you're pitiful, but I'm sorry you ain't that pitiful. I'll let him out. He'll come back out. It's cold out there. Yeah, he loves coming in and snuggle up that stove, but he don't like the cold. Spaz, should mommy let you back out? Hmm? Talk louder so everybody can hear you. He said out. Oh, he carries on a good conversation. And I'll talk to him just like this. He'll go on for 10 or 15 minutes just talking right back. Well, let him on Spaz, out. Spaz, you taking the back to go to bed? You want to get out and get dirty again? Hmm? Well, okay, then I reckon I'll let you. How about that? Are you happy? I'm letting my oil heat day with so. Are you happy? Come on, I'll let you. Is my son happy now? Huh? Come on. I've got to watch David till he be eating the pancake mix raw. Come on, hurry back. I'll eat these cookies. Huh? I so said I'll eat them cookies. You can after I get them fried, husband. Let me just take that on out of there. Let's clean it. Mm. I always clean this stuff after I use it because it's harder to clean if you wait. a little bit ready and I'll turn it down some too it's getting there yeah it's ready so you just sprinkle a little water in there I too. sprinkled just a little bit of water and I'm gonna turn it down to medium you're never supposed to cook much more than medium well, that water did something to it didn't it mm -hmm. you put too much and you say <laughs> yeah blow up yeah just a couple little drops off your finger I love my pretty little platter. I got pancake mix on it. Look, see, I love it. Ain't that the cutest? 
There it is. Where'd you get that in? I ain't never seen that before. I've had it for a long time. I don't remember ever seeing it. This lady gave it to me. She gave it to me. <clears throat> I hope it's ready. I thought I could do this. I think it is, I think it is. Now, you, you can make homemade uh, batter if you want to. That's fine, and I do too. I do, but I'll, it's just easier to use this, and I was trying to get her done. I only had one left of these. Four cookies. Four cookies are gonna be even better. Just wait. You ain't. You know what they're like. Four cookies. You're feeling sorry for these cookies, and I'm making something that you love. I know. <laughs> that's why. When this is why exactly why people says, "Are y'all really married?" <laughs> we're married. We've been married mm -mm, years. No, we're not. As do you wish you wasn't? Or you what? ain't got your ring on. Well, David, that's because I can't get it on yet, honey. I'm trying. I want to wear my beautiful wing. I'll try well, to get it. As long as she got it off, it. As long as I got it off, what? It means we ain't married then. We are married. I got papers to prove it. No, I got a paper to prove that one, buddy. <laughs> Is your finger still swelling? Yeah, it's still swollen. I don't know why it didn't even break yet. It's still a little bit. I can feel the swelling in it. But I'll try. Get it out in a little bit and try. Just broke your wrist. I hope it. nobody stole it. <laughs> you probably took the pawn shop. Oh, I'd never take that expensive ring to the pawn shop. Never would I ever. Now, look, you can probably even put a little less in this, but you don't really want them dragging on the bottom. They need to float in the oil. And I'm going to flip them. You're just wasting your oil if you put too much for no more than I'm going to do. Now, if you make your own batter, you got to use baking soda, baking powder, or whatever, all that stuff. When we're going to have some steak or something, don't there? We just had it a couple yeah. weeks ago. Which that was a couple weeks ago. We got in our gift card. We'll go get steak. How about that? We, we've we been using gift cards that was given to him last year at Christmas. I don't want to disappoint the doctor. I want to keep you my, don't reckon they're going to expire, do you? I want to keep my cholesterol level up. Oh, those are touching the bottom. I don't want to disappoint the doctors next year. I don't year. want you to disappoint them either. Uh -oh, that one wasn't ready. Turn it back over there. Do you put mm -hmm. syrup on them like pancakes? No, Dave. They're going to have sugar on them even better. I like the sugar, not the syrup. I don't think those two were ready either. Get over there. Don't touch Well, it smells kind of good. <laughs> kind of. Look, I'm going to let them drain a little bit, and then I'm going to put them in here and bounce them around, and they're going to be so good. Probably too much sugar. Some people just sprinkles it on it, but we flop ours around in there. It's good like that. I'm going to have these ready. Oops, they're coming apart. Here, baby. <laughs> Don't drop it, honey. I'm not. This is double chocolate right here for you. We're not going to come in the pot, baby, huh? These are good, but they're rich when you do this to them. They're very rich. Very, very rich. There's you another one, David. Am I going to get any to cook? Putting this one back together so I can keep it. If I press it, maybe it won't. These things are so good. Now, I've only been making them a few years because my daughter was the first one to make these and introduce them to me. They're a modern day thing. And I think they're to be made all over the world, not just 
Virginia or North Carolina or California, everywhere, anywhere in the world, they, they got ingredients. I, I guess some places in the world don't have stuff like we do, but, and they can make stuff, but they don't have the same that we do. Okay, let's turn you over now. You're looking good, ain't you, David? Look at that. You just mostly got to get it good and brown like that and make sure your batter's done. I think that one's done. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know <laughs> about it. Look at that. It's evenly brown on both sides. And I don't want it to be dark brown. I like it just like that. Whoops. Get back on there. I might have to put two paper towels like that so that... <coughs> quick. <laughs> I do that quick. Okay, I think these are done. I think it'd be better to sit this right here and not get grease everywhere. Well, be careful of that handle. Don't catch it in nothing and pull it off on you. Oh, uh, trust me. I'm, I, Lord, that would be terrible. I'm going to tell you, that is true. When you cook, you yeah. need to be super careful when you got I'm hot oils and stuff. I'm always worried about you. Doing well, stuff David, like that. knock on wood, I've never had, I mean, and I've gotten splashed with it, but I've never been. Well. You got to cook with finesse and do it gentle, you know. You just have to, that's Not all you a, can do. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry, especially when you're doing something like this. <laughs> My friend Irene gave me these spoons. They're they're uh, square on the end, level on the end, and uh, you can get the bottom of the pot real good. I love them. There was two of them. One with holes and one slotted and one not. Let me put it right. One with holes and one without holes. That's the normal way I would have said it. I'm always myself. Which one do with that? Oh, it dries. I well, guess I should keep it. Let you eat it, right? It's just pancake. Let's say it's pancake chips. <laughs> yeah. 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 Maybe I can get them out with that better. That's what I thought you were going to get it for at first. That's what I'm going to now because that way I'm drain a lot of that off and don't have to take a chance on dropping it. You're just not used to using something fancy like that. You're just using old forks and sticks and That's stuff. That's the way I've always cooked. Now I've got all kinds of things yeah. I've already used, and I've been using a lot of I know of you them. have. Yeah, but it's you know kind of hard to break love, habits over yeah, the old I stuff. I love these kind, and i got two of these, and mm -hmm. I like them. i got a Pioneer Woman one. Now I got five in here getting ready. Hmm, maybe I didn't make up enough for all these. What do you think about that, David? It looks like it's enough to me. Oh, yeah, you got I more. I think it will, yeah. You got some more cookies down there. Hold them in. Yeah, that'd be all right. I throw some more together. It don't take but a half, half a minute. It's like it's thickening up on me, see, I have to... Yeah, you don't have that thing very high, it's just kind of a little over warm. Well, you don't want that oil to be too hot, it's just going to mm -mm. pop and smoke and you don't want to do that. And one time my aunt done something real silly, she's gone now, I love her, God love her, but she... I guess after she cooked what she was cooking in that skillet, she put some oil in it to, uh, she put some water in that thing, blazed up, caught the current on fire, and caught the house on fire. Hmm. I wonder why she done that for. I don't know. I'm like, 
Well, I think I know. My her husband, which I don't really call my uncle, well, didn't call my uncle because he was mean, mean-hearted man. But he um, was probably fussing at her or something. Got on her nerve. Got her all confused up. Yep. Nobody in the family liked him. I don't know why she stayed with him. He was so mean to her kids. She already had four kids, and he was so mean to them. I mean, very mean. I'm sure he's in hell right now. Which maybe God for he might ask for forgiveness and stuff. I don't know. Well, I know who you're talking about now. I remember hearing them stories. Yeah. And I'm Freddie mm. Manny and Donnie's mommy. She fell. She used to do housekeeping and she fell off of a ladder and killed her. Those are good. They're good women. We need to call they them. They are good women. Yeah, we, you ain't talked to them in a long time. Yeah, they're supposed to come back down to mommy and daddy's, but right did now. They find, did you call them about your daddy? or? I guess mommy did. I don't know. They come well, they come. know because Dreama talks to Frida a lot. Oh. But I need to call Ann. I really do. It's time. I, I love talking to them on the phone. Yeah, they're nice folks. They live in Greensboro. Yeah. I wish they was closer. They like to come in to mommy and daddy's, and then we just meet there. Which one was wanting to go with us to the... If Anna. we ever if we ever went there, which Anna. we won't, but we, we always we talked about going to Hot Springs and why going, won't we? We never go in. We ain't been nowhere in years. Well, honey. that's not my fault. Is that my <laughs> fault? No, in the summertime I won't go. I know, there. I know, but it's just I just don't want to get into it. But well, when we get central heat, now it'll be all right. We go when all the right. kids are. <laughs> Any good? Yep, yeah, tastes like funnel cake. Taste it. Tastes like funnel cake. Ugh. So, well, it tastes greasy right now, David, but it don't have... I don't like it. You don't like what? That little piece of whatever you gave me. <laughs> <laughs> you look. Yeah, you could throw them in the trash next time. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Don't you know I ain't never been on sweets much anyway? No, nah, he likes the salt, but I like the sugar, and either way, it's terrible. Taste it now. Sour and sweet. Let's see. Are you stuck Taste in Taste it now. We're arguing with you. A little different. You don't have to smack. That's rude. I'm not. That's really rude. You do that in real life. You don't have to do it on the camera, silly. Well, I'm trying not to then. <laughs> okay, I wish you'd... I appreciate that if you'd do that for me. It's better, but it ain't really much better for me. Y'all know sometimes you just have to fuss at them... I know some of you feel sorry for him. He's all right. I didn't hurt him. Nothing but his feelings. <coughs> now, see, for some reason, this batch is frying quicker. Well, I took my first COVID shot. You get your other one, Monday. Brenda, and Brenda got her, her uh, I booster. I got both of mine and the booster. Yep. My cousin just passed away a couple weeks ago with the COVID. Yeah, I couldn't get him to get that shot, and finally he did after somebody in the family passed away. He was the same age as me. That's a terrible thing. He caught it in the hospital while he was in there getting a... That's how Becky got it. She's yeah. had her shots. Yeah. But at least she didn't die. She didn't even have to go to the hospital. Well, he had some kidney things there, and they was doing something with his kidneys or whatever, and he caught the COVID in the hospital. Well, that could actually be too much sugar on them, but it's okay. It'll, oh, I see what you're doing now. It's you're taking when you get it all over. So you. you're taking the cooked ones and you're sticking it in. What kind of sugar is that? Is that regular sugar or powder, or? confectionery, just whatever you want to call? It. I've always called it confectionery sugar, but powder sugar is easy or whatever. Well, it's just a bigger bag or something. Well, I need, we always do it with a brown bag, but mm -hmm. I don't have any more. I used the last one the other day. See how quick these are going? So what do you just kind of brown it and then flip it? And... Well, you brown it. It's, when it's brown, then that stuff's done. You want your batter to be cooked, don't you? That boiling sounds like a little brook. 
Don't it? <laughs> you looking for serenity tonight? <laughs> it sounds like a little brook. And see, you want to let them drain real good, uh, you know, so you won't get that. You know, you get your sugar wet, it ain't going to work right. You have to get some more. I hope I explain everything to everyone that you can understand it real good and don't leave nothing out. This is the easiest thing, and if you got the cookies, kids love it. You can put them in your, their lunch. You can just have it for a dessert, snack, whatever. You don't want to give it to them before they go to bed, not even the cookie by itself. <laughs> what did I do? What did I just do, I don't David? Know. I was just thinking about it. That don't seem normal to me. It wasn't normal. I was thinking, what is she doing? That don't seem normal. It's all right. I can fix it. I seem to be messing up every time you anymore. You can't blame it on me. I'm not blaming you. I, you know, I've just had a lot on me, a lot on my mind. I've had to run a lot, and I'm tired. And I am too. My back hurts. I get tired. It takes me a couple hours to get to where I gotta go and back. Hour there, an hour back. They still got sugar on them, but I'm gonna have to throw them down in here again. Gosh, it's only like 7.30. I'm ready for bed, it feel like. Time changes this weekend if you do your time change. We do here. I know everybody. Oh, is it this weekend? Yeah, I know everybody in the country don't change the time. But here, if we don't change the time, our kids will be getting on the bus in the dark. So we change it. Sometimes I just soon leave it alone, but we want them to be safe. They <coughs> might be running this country one of these days. You never know. Well, I hope so. I hope so, too. <laughs> we need them. This time we're staying away. Well, the pot, this time it's full again. And now let's get that sugar back up on the other side. I think you're going to have to have some more of that sugar stuff. Well, I got plenty of it. <clears throat> it's almost time, if I make candy, it's almost time to do that again. I am so messy when I cook. Look at that. I, know. I am super messy. I was going to say it, but I didn't say anything. I, I have to take that stove apart and clean it. I do the same thing at Mommy's. I have to clean the whole kitchen just because I'm messy. Well, you ain't got good control over your fingers. That's the reason why. I really don't at that yeah. anymore. That's the just reason for it. It's not just because you're sloppy. You got a reason for it. Look at that, David. And I just cleaned them. I took the eyes and everything That's out. That's all right. You can get it after you get done. Let me get it for you. I got it. Oh. I stretch every now and then kind of hurt, but it feels I know. Good I too. told you not to do it. You get them nerves are hurting again. Oh, I don't want that to happen never. Yeah. Oh, well, that's why I'm telling you, you got to be careful. Other than childbirth, which lasted a couple of days, and my knees healing, that was the worst thing I've been through. And I'm going to get an injection. I was supposed to go yesterday, and I went. And they didn't have me on the list. I don't know why the girl didn't put it on the list. I, but I had my card, but it was too late. They didn't have no room to fit me in. So I was supposed to go back today, and I had a migraine when I got up. So, so what are you going to do for Christmas? You going to do some candies, or I don't know. Uh, I might do some of my candies for Christmas. Baked ham or something, or I've done ham and turkey, David, two or three times already. I know. Well, we had that Whenever spam I thing one some, time. We're going to do something with Spam. You, you said you was going to do some uh, some kind of special Spam cooking or something. I just said I'm going to do yeah. some Spam chow mein or something. Yeah. We'll do something replacing whatever meat we use with Spam. Yeah, but for Christmas, I could like to have maybe a ham and some steak. Steak? Or just ham. It'd be all right. This year, I'm not going to make ham and turkey for Thanksgiving because we don't need them both. 
I'll yeah, but your turkey is about, is the best it ever was. I'll make you. I'll make I mean, the turkey for you, honey. I know you love the turkey, and I'll make your turkey. I've I'll never all the years of I've been around some good cooks, you know, great aunts and things, but they never had a turkey. It's always moist like yours is all the time. Well, what I do is where I marinate it and all that stuff, and put it in, and I when I cook that turkey and I bring it back out. Once I slice my turkey, I dip it back down in that juice. It's got all them seasonings on it. And it is so good. That's really making my is. mouth water right now. <laughs> he loves my turkey, though. And so sometimes I'm thinking I'll just make a turkey breast, but then people's coming and, and they take turkey home with them. There's no getting out of that one. My daughter, my brother-in-law, David's brother. <laughs> my brother-in-law is David's Yeah, he brother. takes it home, but he takes it home through his belly. Oh, he takes some home <laughs> last year. Did he? <laughs> No, we didn't do nothing last year, did we? Uh-uh. Last year we didn't do... Yeah, we went to Mom and Them's last year. Yeah, last year's the only year that we've never done nothing. Yeah. Nothing I at all. stuff to Mom and Them's. No, I'm talking about here. Nobody oh, came here, here or nobody nothing. Nobody came here. That's the first the first here. year, and I don't know. As long as I can remember. So, I guess it was the COVID crap or something. Other. COVID. COVID. Well, I don't know. Maybe this year we'll do something. We're going to. I'll fix you a turkey, honey. This one right here, because it's flat on the end, watch how easy it goes up under something. It goes up under there real easy. I wonder why I didn't think of that years ago. I don't know, but I love them. And Irene sent me these. And I'm like, huh? And she asked me, did you get them? I said, I got them. She said, look how. And I said, that's pretty neat. He was using that old fork till you forgot about that. Yeah. Well, you know, you can scrape everything. Look how it scrapes that right off the bottom. Huh. It's easy. Now, David will use this oil and he'll put it on his wood outside. Let it simmer on. We don't it. waste anything, Harley. Except for maybe them little chips right there. They didn't want too good. I ain't going to put them over, I don't guess. I am going to do that. Now i got to put a little more down in here for those when they're ready. See how easy and, and, and quick it is? And got a nice little homemade dessert. Well, it ain't exactly homemade, but... Like I said, you can... I started to go ahead and make your homemade pancake mix, but I said, I'm just going to do this. And that makes it... Makes it quicker. It was... And I'm not trying to rush to get away from my subscribers, but, you know, sometimes you, they like a quicker thing to make. And I've been wanting a, a, a coconut pie again. <laughs> Impossible coconut pie. I love those things, but I eat too much sugar. And if I make it, I'll eat it. So that's why I haven't been making anything. And I don't hardly ever eat much of that stuff, so that you get it all mostly. Well, I or made, you share with the, uh, the ladies around close by here or whatever. And I made one for the show. I also made two of them. I made two at the same time. But yeah. I hardly ever eat anything like that for some reason. Well, you did that time. You ate a couple pieces of Yeah, them. I know, but I'm just mm. saying, you know, I don't I don't ever eat that stuff like that. I don't know why. I just don't. I guess because we never had nothing like that when we was kids, and I just don't care anything this about it. This is not, this is a modern type of recipe. I mean, it's been around a few years, but no, I don't I know. I mean, we get, made Oreos then. We I might started. have an apple pie once in a blue moon or something, maybe. He yeah. really don't eat very much. He will uh, but, apple cake and stuff like that. Now, Grandma made a, um, a chocolate cake from scratch that was really, really good. And I don't know if any people would under, knows what that means by scratch, but... A scratch means you don't take it out of a box or a can. Yeah. And then they were really good. And we'd have that every once in a while we was at Grandma's or something. But, but other than that, I never had anything like this stuff with the sugars and stuff. Well, these ain't from scratch, but I guarantee you they're good. Yeah. Now, I remember the first time we discovered Jell-O. That was pretty good. I mean... <laughs> We were, I guess I was already about eight or nine years when we first discovered Jell-O. And that chocolate and pudding stuff, I always want you to make me some of that once in a while. Yeah, he'll yeah. ask me and I, I'll keep some boxes of chocolate pudding around Hershey's or something. He he likes chocolate pudding. Yeah, he we had. He for it, you know, he don't ask for nothing like that very often. But that's about the extent that we had, so we didn't have anything like that. I mean, there was gelatin mix and stuff you can make. Like, 
the chocolate pudding that was around for a long time was the one you cook. And it's also, a lot of times it's better in pies and stuff when you make pie. A whole lot better. You know, we just never saw nothing like that. You want me to put this on a plate and give you the knife and the fork or you go pick it up and eat it? Whatever you want to do. You're running the show. Yeah, but I don't know which one of them's that yellow Oreo that I cooked and that's the only one. I don't like chocolate ones. <laughs> Is Wait, it all over me? Yeah. What are you talking about? Yellow and... There's a vanilla Oreo in there. Oh. Ugh. I like the chocolate ones. Well, you're getting ready to eat one for the show. <clears throat> well, that didn't take too long to make. No, see? It didn't take long because I only made 15. And there was a little bit of batter left. I could have made about 18 probably. But David ate them all. <laughs> nah, he did. He put them in his lunch a few days. And yeah, I'm getting ready to say, I didn't come in here and get none of them things. You gave me I a couple. I gave them to him. Well, I try bought them, David. I bought two packs of Oreos. Did we need all that? Mm-mm. We ate them. But I wasn't going to fry all those. I bet you ate more of them than I did. I gave Becky a big bag of them. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah. Let me see. <clears throat> that one's cool. And I can eat the rest of that sugar right out of the bag. I'm trying to slow it down some. That is good. <laughs> you act like you ain't never ate it before. I know, but it is good. They are good. They're no, really that good. is good. Mm -hmm. That chocolate kind of turned more like a, a mushy type like I'm gonna eat it yeah it it um kind of melts a little bit in there it's been a while since I made them though so you don't probably don't even remember it I remember them. <laughs> it's just like you remember the ooey gooey goodness inside that that's the best part I'm eating the chocolate one it's not too bad it's not too bad Mmm. <laughs> I'm getting a thumbs up. We got sugar all over. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, David ain't figured out how to put the P.O. box down there. I got someone asking. Yeah, again. I did. Did you? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, so now? Yeah, I done it. I do it again. I mean, it should be down in the description. You won't have to do it every time. Uh, it's at the end of the show. I do it at the end of the show. Oh. Oh, okay. Then we'd, I won't tell it. Yeah, I, I, I do well, that. If it's at the end of yeah, the show, Yeah, that's really why, good. If it's at the end of the show, why someone asked me for no, it? No, I was just thinking. If we had them things from when I was a kid, mm -hmm. golly, it'd have been a riot how all of us kids fighting over them things. Anyway, it's P.O. Box 35. You got a black tongue. We do too. Bent Mountain, Virginia. 24059. I know an old guy when I was a kid. He was a World War II veteran. And something had happened to him in the service, and he had a black tongue. And I don't know where, what, what, I used to know it, but I don't remember what caused him to have a black tongue. He was in World War II, and something happened. He got into something, I guess, and his tongue was black. Sort of looks like yours. Mm, that's good. Well, I now like chocolate Oreo fried. They want one for the ants. Oh, David. <laughs> You ain't mentioned your aunt friends for a long time. I know. Though. We haven't seen them in a long time either. Mm -hmm. I guess they went into hibernation in the spring. They'll come back out for you. Well, they don't like that simple green. <laughs> it's called Spray 9. Well, Spray 9. It ain't simple green. Well, That's just good cleaning stuff. I mean, it's good disinfects and We use it on everything. Good for germs and everything. Look at the bottom of my feet. How red. She's got me buying a gallon of it about every other week. Don't put it on your sweatshirt. <laughs> if you get grease on it, it won't come off. Yeah, it's, it, it's, uh, I use it on the laundry all the time. It's basically his shirt because he's always, whatever he eats, is like spaghetti or whatever, right down the front of it. Well, you got to get me a new bib. I don't know where my old one is. I'm going to buy you a bib, all right. <clears throat> anyway, So what's, what's next? I hope that you'll enjoy this video. It'll probably be something... Salty next time. Like um, country ham? No. Oh, darn. 
and throw that stuff in the skillet and fry it. You're supposed to boil some of the salt out of it, but he likes for you to leave it. So anyway, everybody, I'll surprise you with what's next. Um, again, thanks for all the prayer, and I appreciate it if you'd keep on praying. The Lord is so good to us, and we need him in our lives. We sure do. And So thanks to everyone for watching the show. We appreciate it. I hope you'll give this a try and let me know what you think. And I'm trying to answer some comments here and there, but this is still a little smaller. Sometimes than she time. has me write them, and sometimes you yeah, do, do a few of them. them. But you have to do a few, then you got to rest for a half an hour sometimes. Yeah. And then, and then if, I've been letting but, him do a bunch of them here, and I'll tell him to write, and he'll type it too. But uh, we I hope, can, he does this kind of, and I can do like this, but this one ain't cooperating too I much. I hope your your daddy gets well. Me too. I, I'm not ready to give him up uh, yet. Now he's he's a good fella. I'm, I like him a whole lot. He's he's a really good fella. I enjoy listening to him. He tell tales when we're out riding around him. Me and him are supposed to be planning a big trip, go up way up in the middle backwoods of West Virginia to visit his brother. He's very, and his very brother, strong. how old is his brother? He's young and daddy. Okay, I thought he was he's older. probably about 80. Yeah, I want to go up there. We're supposed to go to his place, and he's way back out in the he's jungle. He's been sick with a real bad cold, and we told daddy he couldn't go. That country up that way is beautiful, because back in the, well, back in the spring, me and him rode up in West Virginia a little bit, and and we went to an old store and got got some big old giant tomatoes and stuff, and man, that was really cool. We rode around a little bit. And, that yeah. was just not too far from the house, though. It is yeah, in West Virginia, yeah. but yeah. it was just like just a few miles from the house. Oh, it's beautiful country up there. Mm -hmm. So I got, I'm hoping you get well so we can take that big trip. And, and I know. got some pictures on my phone. If I send them to you, you can maybe put it on the show and just show them. Because I haven't been up, I haven't been up in those countries since I was a kid, and I don't remember nothing much about it. But it's kind of neat, though. You know, um, I, I want to, I might, shoot, you never know, someday. Might even get a couple acres up that way. You never know. You could wear an apron when you eat. <laughs> Anything. That saves my clothes. I don't know. You start gaining weight when you get old. And it's like, he said, I was trying to measure him for a pair of bibs, for a pair of uh, a denim coveralls. And I can't find them. They had a bunch on eBay for bidding, but I'm not gonna pay seven eight. Well, I went I went to Sunnyside to see about getting some, and that's where we used to get them at. You know, I used to get pointers and stuff when I was younger, and they don't have none. They're so, hard to find, and they, they got not insulate, but just regular. Yeah, yeah regular but, bib. No, they're cover, not. No, they're not bib. Regular bibs. coveralls, not bibs. Yeah. Yeah. Coveralls covers all oh, bibs is a strap. Right. Well, some people call them a jumpsuit, but we never called them jumpsuits. Yeah. You know, nothing. Well, but... so anyhow, he's and I was trying to measure him, and he said, "I you... ain't that big." And I said, "David, the rule is is whenever you measure, if you're bigger here than you are here, you measure here. You got to get this in there." And, if it, <laughs> and he was, like st stuff and sausage. I said it's almost fifty. He said, "No, it ain't. I ain't that big." <laughs> Well, I'm using a, a mat tape measure for clothes to make clothes and to measure your body with. And so I said, no, it's about 46, I believe, 47. But, hey, if I find a 50, he getting it. Well, all right, let's say it was just a short 10 years ago, I'd say. You was probably about, probably 100 and a quarter. Was 118. it? 118. 118. Now look. He was 118. And I weighed 118. Now look. Yeah, and I probably didn't weigh much more than that. Now I'm pushing over 200. You've always been and buff across your chest. Yeah, stuff. I know, but but I was and always you got skinny. Fat neck. <laughs> <laughs> That's. We had that a guy. That guy. We was getting him a suit one night, and the guy ripped him off, and I went back in there and made him get no, him. No, we. I had a. I, it's when was it when Grandpa died or Grandma? It was when Grandma died, wasn't it? And I got a new suit. Uh -huh. And it's been a long time ago. And and so we went to this place, and it was a foreign guy, you know, like, you know. And he couldn't speak no English or nothing. He kept measuring me. No, we're me. not racist against him. No, 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 no. But we're just no. telling you who it no, was. No, he could, he, but he, he couldn't, couldn't speak he, he act like he couldn't. He didn't understand nothing about English. So anyway, but the only thing, he kept he kept trying to get me a shirt, and he couldn't get one to button around my neck. He understood when I wanted my money back or a suit that he promised. And, and so he goes, you got fat neck. You got fat neck. And I, I was trying to keep from laughing, you know. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't help. We, we got a suit. Anyway, anyway he yeah, cheated, David. No, David was too, he was too shy. He's like, I ain't going by. I said, you get two suits? He's like, no. I said, that sign all over the store. And the outside of the store says, buy one, 
Get one free. I don't want no more. I might, I've never wore it since then. So. Well, you need something nice when you go to a funeral, especially if you're going to be a pallbearer. Well, the last funeral I went to, I, I was a pallbearer, and I didn't, I just wore it like everybody else. Blue well, jeans no, and a t-shirt. I mean, a blue else. jeans and a shirt. Nobody wears suits and be respectful anymore. Mm -hmm. I, I watch this preacher on TV, and he's an excellent preacher. Well, two of them. One of them's Pastor Bob, and the other one, I see him on TV, but he's local. And they got on this shirt and it's unbuttoned here. And I'm like, that's so disrespectful. Well, I wasn't raised like that. Preacher should have his tie. Sometimes. Casual or something is what they call it. I don't it. care. You ain't going to see my preacher without his tie in church like that. Not when he's preaching. Well, anyway, that suit, it will not fit me now. It don't fit you fat neck. Or fat butt or fat belly or anything else. <laughs> <laughs> but your but, neck hasn't gained a whole lot. It's still fat, though. You, it's hard to get any kind of shirt. To, but you have to get a shirt too big to get the button up here. So I get it all the way up and leave it unbuttoned iron as tight and as tight as much as I can. But, I mean, but, but just like only 10 years ago, I mean, look how much we've changed. and A, a human can change in 10 years. It's kind of, kind of strange, ain't it? A but, neighbor started teaching me something today, and eventually I'm going to share it with y'all when I get better at it. And... I'm happy with it because that way David ain't around. I can do my own, and I'll, you'll find out when. Well, maybe we'll, then. maybe we'll start an exercise show called Appalachian we Exercises. We can both use that. <laughs> we can both use that. All right. Well, anyway, y'all, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Y'all take care. God bless.